Welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating my circuit and its super efficiency. So it, everyone who's watched my videos knows that uh, I've got lots of variations to the way um, I use my circuits. Someone did actually mention, one of my subscribers did mention uh, that there's so many options it's hard to keep track of i uh, am completely on board with that i believe um that i've had many hours of frustration trying to work things out so uh, just you know have i been here before have i done that did i record that did i document it you know did i do something completely different and think i did that so in this video, I just want to point out we've got um, the one watt LEDs here. I've shown in a previous video using these uh, ferrite suppressors. Um, that and what is there? One, two, three, four, possibly five turns on on that little guy, and that's. Uh, that's nice and bright. Sorry about blinding you there. I've got the other ones turned upside down as well, and they're equally blindingly bright. And the thing is, that's really weird, which I just want to show everyone is having these lights on. There's five of those in operation there. Um, clearly full brightness it again five so it should be five watts they're one watt lights so I'll leave that on there long enough I'm sorry about the unsteady hand I'll try and stabilize that on the phone before I export it but the interesting thing here is normally when you take extra loads off of a device you have an increase in wattage going through the meter um, and usually a decrease in voltage so if I just disconnect this one Again, sorry about the unsteady hand. We'll remove that completely. So that'll help with the next demonstration. So that makes the voltage start to drop and the consumption increases. Now I'll leave it on the screen long enough so that you can check it all out for yourself but and maybe I'll put the power factor relationship up on the screen as well um, but <laughs> to be honest because I've now changed an orientation I had those uh, that that other this one on here on this line and these are the DC lines after the meter and because I had that on there and was running it from the start like that those calculations there will be not necessarily a hundred percent accurate so what I really should do is restart the meter and let it run for a little bit um, and maybe I'll tack that on the end. <clears throat> Excuse me, on the end of this video. So, you know, we can see that if I have, so we've got on this in this example here. I was just doing, or I had all these um, suppressors on this negative line, and they were all connected up in series, and uh, were working fine and and but then I had the thought well what would happen if I took 
uh, took one of those and then placed it on this line and I had it this way around the way I'm about to connect it up now and you see what happens so I'll also put a link on the screen and in the description for uh, I think they're a subscriber if not someone that does some some great work of their own and I watched a video that they did recently uh, that was um, a reproduction of a video I believe it was military uh, use and that was uh, you know talking about the logical magnetic locks that occur within these transformers and we set up in different arrangements so if I then take that transformer and you can start to understand some of it with those old videos like they're just they were so brilliant compared to what they teach us the crap they teach us today blows my mind so obviously there it's working off of just the one um, and then I figured well because it's a magnetic issue if I turn this one around instead of turning the light off it will increase the power because now this coil this coil here is now running or the uh, the energy in the positive line is running in a different direction to the energy in the negative line so if you want you can put them all on the one line but they need to be in series and in the same thing like there's that uh, connections when they were all in series it was important which connector went to which um, which next following connector because if you got the magnetic arrangement flipped around you would cancel it out like we just saw there so so once I realized that um, we could do that and to utilize this side we also need to um, change the direction for the coil and as we see there clamp that on there and then we get an even brighter light and again if we refer to the wattage now this circuit which I will put up schematics for um, is my circuit and that looks bloody scary and that's all included there I've got like I said, I'll explain it all in the schematics. Um, it's running through a neon, a green line there. Comes out of my high voltage coil. Um, it's a special coil that has um, a special primary winding. And inside that, I'm wirelessly powering that little coil which I believe is 54 turns and that goes to full wave bridge rectifier and that goes to capacitor bank and then that's fed to the battery which is feeding the solar controller which feeds the meter which feeds that circuit and there's the coils so that's self well it's, it's far from bloody self-explanatory that's very arrogant of me um so hopefully those who wish to understand that a little bit more will look at uh, the schematics at the end of this but this is just sort of highlighting the importance of us getting out there and and well sorry us getting in into your own 
little makeshift laboratories um, just putting these components together in certain arrangements and just seeing what happens you know taking the approach that I use all the time which is the what if what if I did this what if I did that so now if we look at the voltage there just before I go clamping on this other LED so I'll just rest the negative line there lights not on so we're looking at 369 I will clip this on here okay so extra load and the voltage is increasing now I watched it here I did this before about half an hour ago where it was at um, 1269 and uh, I think it went up to 1274 now I'm not suggesting that that is now charging itself it's also got Tesla's um, 336961 patent the coils in that patent of that patent number uh, wrapped around my coil there that's the output there there's a capacitor I've been testing in the setup um, can I zoom in no okay <laughs> when I get that close with the camera apparently my zoom function is no longer working I hope I don't destroy this bloody camera. Anyway, um, that's about it, guys. It's uh, pretty clear to me that something's going on there. So even if you just want to go off of what's on the screen right at this moment, let's take the high end so that we're not cheating. 3.5, 3.6, right, it's 3.6 watts to run 5 watts of lights. And as I said, like I've turned them upside down, save your eyes. Okay, bright light warning. If I get down, we can see nice and bright. Um, yeah, I don't know, 5 watts should see five watts now also something else to consider here is the neon which you know that's also being powered the diode chain which again I'll place in the schematic is cold. Uh, can I get a meter on that? So, I mean, in Australia, <laughs> in Australia, that's cold. Um, Twenty-three degrees. Am I getting that on there? Yeah, twenty-three point five. 23.5 what's the end one end one is 22.9 huh let's do that again 22.9 nine. Twenty three point two. 23.4 awesome camera work dude 23.4 there's a marginal increase there marginal difference uh, this has got no earth lines but yeah 5 watts of light 3.8 3 there or 4.4 
So obviously it fluctuates as the voltage changes. That's all going to change as well, but just more interesting things to learn about. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. I will tack on the end of this um, the uh, new power factor data or reset this meter and let it run for like 10 minutes and then I will put that data on the end and you can work it out for yourself or I'll um, also add the uh, calculations there for everyone's benefit very very efficient circuit thanks for watching